welcome to the beach house. Today I am so excited because we're doing something we haven't done in a long time. We are going on a treasure hunt and this is a public treasure hunt. It is a real treasure hunt. Somebody has taken and hidden $10,000 in the woods up in the mountains and we are going to try and follow the clues and find it today. And it's going to be an adventure and we might come up short, but we're gonna try our very best and hopefully we'll be able to find it. We're getting all the kids ready right now. Michael's back's been hurting him, so he's doing some back stretches and hopefully gonna feel better and... But we gotta find the treasure before somebody else does. I know, <laughs> and this is public. And every, I think it's every Friday, they come out with a new clue. And so I'll, I'll be showing you guys all of the different clues that we have to be able to follow and then um, hopefully we'll be able to get close to finding it today. It's going to be a really exciting day. I think I need to pack some food for like lunch and picnic stuff and it's the clue, one of the clues was that it's on a public trail so we don't have to go in any dangerous place. Um, so I'm thinking we'll just take the kids with us and hopefully they'll be good. And we'll be ready pretty soon and then we can go on an exciting adventure! Our adventure car. get out and let the kids run around while Becca and I collaborate on where we think we need to go. Yay! We're gonna read the clue to you guys and figure out what our game okay, plan is. Okay. okay, this is the clue that is the official clue. And this is the clue that everybody has access to and so far it's the only clue that's been revealed because this treasure is brand new. It's just barely hidden. Yep. Um, here's the clue. I'm just gonna read it. I've probably read it a dozen times. It says, begin your search where hikers rest, majestic slopes all facing west. Through the tunnel of emerald green, follow the river, creek, or spring. When the blackbird clicks, turn to port. If you reach the end, you've come up short. Begin to climb when your path switches, swings north, picking your way back and forth. Soon you'll find you're not alone. Greet the bear made out of stone. Along the bottom of the cliffs is key, the chest awaits beneath the tree. With treasure in hand, enjoy the views, the sun-kissed reds and salty blues. Based on my best calculations, I think it's describing a trail, like an actual hiking trail, uh, because it says at the very beginning, begin your search where hikers rest. So, hikers are at this place. Okay. So it's probably at the base of a trail somewhere. Okay. Majestic slopes all facing west. So... We are facing east right now. So I found, uh, there's a website that talks about the treasure. And it's talking about how they hid $5,000 last year and this year they hid $10,000. And um, this is interesting. It says the treasure's located somewhere in the orange rectangle this year. There's no need to sift through the sands of the Little Sahara or comb the red rocks of Moab maybe next year. And so it's got this picture right here. And this picture is of the Wasatch Front. So this mountain range right here that goes all the way from Ogden down to Provo, this mountain range, they're facing to the west. Okay. So if you're along the Wasatch Front, which we are, right now we are in uh, Payson area, the southern Utah County area. Um, we're right along the base of this mountain range that goes all the way to the north. Okay, so it's really, it's that mountain right there, all the way up there. When it says, begin your search where hikers rest, majest majestic slopes all facing west, I think of this mountain range that is over a hundred miles long. And I think, okay, there's a lot of hiking spots along this entire mountain range. 
through the tunnel of emerald green. I'm not sure quite what that means. And then it says follow the river, creek, or spring. Wait, wait, wait. So whatever trail we're looking for, there's a river that follows this trail, which is quite common also because of all the mountains. They all have snow on the mountains and all that snow melts and there's a whole bunch of rivers that come down the mountains to this direction. So there's like, I looked it up because I've got an app that helps me find hiking trails. And I searched and I put in a filter to look up trails that have rivers and there's like 250 okay. trails. That's narrowing it down. I'm trying to narrow it down. Yeah. But it says begin your search where hikers rest. Majestic slopes all facing west. Through the tunnel. So I imagine we're going to be hiking. Yeah. We hike through the tunnel of Emerald Green, which I think is just a bunch of trees over the trail. So whatever this trail is follows a river, creek, or spring. Okay. When the blackbird clicks, turn to port. Port, when you're, when you're in a boat, is to the left. So if you're in a boat and, you, and they say go to port, that means turn left. And then it says if you reach the end, you've come up short. So whatever trail probably ends if you don't turn left at a certain point. Okay. And so if you don't turn left, the trail will end and then you've kind of missed the turn basically. You've come up short. Begin to climb when the path swings north. So whatever this trail is, goes into the mountains and you're following a, a river and then at some point the trail curves to the north and then it says climb begin the climb begin to climb when your path swings north so the trail will will swerve to the north which is also common picking your way back and forth which to me sounds like switchbacks yeah going up the the mountainside soon you'll find you're not alone greet the bear made out of stone I imagine there's probably a big boulder a big rock that maybe looks like a bear okay something like that Along the bottom of the cliffs is key, the chest awaits beneath the tree. So, then we just kind of look around. I'm just thinking like, where would there be something that we can narrow it down even more? The chest awaits beneath the tree, with treasure in hand, enjoy the views, the sun-kissed reds and salty blues. So I was thinking about that line, sun-kissed reds and salty blues, well, that could be a clue because of the Great Salt Lake. And maybe the mountain range that we're looking at specifically is in the Salt Lake Valley. And you climb up to the top of the mountain and you can see the Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake. And maybe it looks blue from the top of the mountain huh. because it's salty blue. Salt isn't blue, but yeah. the Great Salt Lake is blue. Yeah. It's the only salt that would be considered salt that's blue. So that makes me think it might be up in Salt Lake somewhere. Yeah. James is such a good big brother. Look at him pushing Max while we're making plans. I wonder if it's literal or... I think, because I didn't find anything, I think it's probably just a big stone. That looks kind, that looks of, kind of like the shape okay. of a bear, you know? I don't okay. think that there's an actual like stone statue cut out there. Yeah, know? yeah. I don't think that's what you're gonna find. Because well, that would be just too telling. Well, you know okay, what I mean? so my thoughts are this place can't be that public. Because then somebody might fall upon Stumble it. Stumble upon it. On accident. Some of these hiking trails. There's so many trees, and it's probably off the trail, hidden in, under a tree somewhere, yeah. that unless you were looking for it, you'd never just, oops, Find it. Yeah. I tripped on this box, you know. Yeah. Are you coming? Are you coming? Okay, I think that we are about ready to get on the road again and take a hike and see if we can find what we need. is go on a trail that's closest basically to kind of where we are and even if we're not anywhere close we're still gonna have a good time I'm hoping that for some reason or for some way we'll find it that would be awesome but I'm, my hopes are not very high right now because <laughs> we haven't like done as much 
research as I think it will take probably to find our best bet. Of another where to clue look. comes out in two days. Oh, and another clue comes out in two days. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll find we'll have more clues in a couple of days if it hasn't already been found yet. Okay, here's the tr the beginning of the trail that we picked. We're going hiking. This trail is open to hikers, horses, and bikes. No ATVs though. Oh. All right, James, what did you bring? Hey, I gotta get my stuff. Binoculars. Yeah. Do your walkie talkies work? Uh, they're miniature ones they're like actual world's smallest ones yeah a white elephant gifts thing do they work yeah for okay. about like a hundred feet or something okay cool all right what did you bring for the trail hike everybody else is carrying it except for this <laughs> you brought a baby look up this is the uh the emerald tunnel i think that um this gate is here if you look over here, we can walk. I think the gate is to keep people from driving vehicles. Yeah, that's to keep four-wheelers out. But not people. Hey! There's the river. Do you want to hear oh, a story? Oh, it's beautiful. It's actually quite a beautiful day. It would be interesting if one of them said Blackbird on it. You on know? the trail marker? Yeah. That would be interesting. This one says... Narrow leaf cottonwood. That's probably something. See if you guys can find the narrow leaf cottonwood. Okay guys, the next trail marker is hidden. See if you can find it. <laughs> oh good strong man. What does that one say? Rocky Mountain Juniper. Keep looking because it might have a blackbird thingy. That would be really cool. Mm -hmm. And then it talks about going north. Mm -hmm. The trail veers to the north. Okay, mm -hmm. this is where the serious treasure hunting skills come into play. Oh, mm -hmm. animal or person stayed in that maybe. That's weird. We should stick to the trail probably, huh? This is bear country, remember? Okay, so I was doing a little bit of research. And it turns out there are some blackbirds that do make a clicking sound. Um, and so it's possible that maybe wherever this trail is, this hike, there might be some local blackbirds that click in the area. And so Let's keep our eyes peeled. That could be the possible solution as well. All right, let's keep moving, Charlie. Now I'm the leader. Okay, buddy, lead us in the right way. What does this one say? What does this one say? Yeah. That one says, Horsetail Family. Guys, check it out. <gasps> Looks like a bird box. Oh. A bird house. That's what the clue says. Yeah, there's a bird, a birdhouse right there. Where is it facing? Do you see the birdhouse right there? Can I go look at it? No, not right now. Whoa. But we found it, so maybe there's birds nearby. Let's keep keep our eyes peeled. Can you use your binoculars over there? Doesn't it almost look like there's a paper in that tree? Oh, it does. I'm pretty sure there is. It could just be wood. A rock. A rock? Okay. Alright, well, it was worth looking. So here's the trail that we're on. You can see where we're at. And we are just hiking right along the path of the river right now. Oh, well, we're about to get hiking in the river. Really? Yeah, that's why I went. 
Oh, look at that. <clears throat> that is crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, it smells so good though. Oh, there's mosquitoes. Careful, guys. Be careful. I saw a honeybee. You can hear the water's loud down there. There's all sorts of flies pollinating this little bush right here. All right, the kids are still on the trail. Let's keep going. How long have we been hiking now? It feels like three a couple days. hours. Three days. <laughs> it's a pretty beautiful view of that mountain up there. Do you guys hear the river anymore? Does anybody hear the river anymore? I hear I think I might hear it up there. I haven't heard the river in a while. I wonder if um wonder if we missed the turn. Because we were supposed to follow the river until we made a turn. But then it says if you've reached the end you've gone too far or something. Can you guys see the river over there? What? Snake. Walk away. Don't, no, don't go near the snake. Could be rattlesnakes. It, it, sounded, like, it sounded like a uh, leaf going like. Did you see it? I, I saw it, the snake. It was brown and. Stay away from the snakes, guys. It looked kind of yellow, but brown too. This could be where it lives, so it might get defensive if we get too close. Let's go back on the trail, guys. I don't want anybody getting bit by a snake. Okay. Ah. Do you? Not funny. This might be a good spot to sit down on the rock and eat some food. Is everybody needing a break? Okay, we are taking a little break because we've been hiking for a really long time and everybody's tired. Um, we're sitting down and just kind of recovering right now. Trying to decide if we're going to keep going or if we missed the turn because we lost the river. I've been carrying a baby. I'm so exhausted. My back feels very sweaty. It's actually a really hot day. I thought for sure it would be like way cooler going up in the mountains. It's not. It's not. Uh, the children are learning their lesson of wilderness survival. They need you to go to the bathroom. That? I heard a sound. I did too. Of wood. Oh, I thought I heard yeah. over that. It way. sounded like rocks clicking together. <gasps> Wait. Shh. Shh. Everyone, be quiet. There's like no, not even bird sounds. No bird sounds, no animal sounds. I heard a rock click. Oh, he had a hurt on his neck. What do you see, Ben? Just as I glanced up, I noticed something was bouncing around in the bushes up there. Yeah, that's what I saw My fighting stick is right here. Well, we could probably get going. Okay. We decided that we don't think this is the right trail. Uh, guys, they're going way up ahead. So we decided to turn around, and Max is walking alone this time. But he's got some help, huh? Mm, he wants to play in the water. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> but I don't feel like today was a failure. Yeah. We know now one canyon that the treasure is not hidden. So one down. A million to go. <laughs> 200 to go. Um, so, but we did decide that tonight we're going to look and research and think a little bit more about clues and he'll be able to use his computer instead of his phone, which will be 
um, better than when we were out less prepared. Yeah. And we've been trying to figure out what blackbird means. And I've been thinking a lot about it. And it could mean uh, there's an airplane, an AR-71 or a something. Okay, I don't know which one it is. I can't remember. But there's an airplane, a military airplane, that's called a blackbird. And a click is a military term for a kilometer. And so maybe when the blackbird clicks, it could be like military airs planes flying. Well, and wasn't there one more thing that said um, <coughs> uh, turn left at, or turn at port, port or something? At the, at, the, at the Blackbird. When the Blackbird clicks. And we were clicks. thinking, what if it's an airport? Oh yeah, turn to port. It so, could be an airport. That could narrow things down a lot. And then I was thinking that maybe tomorrow we can drop off Max and Charlie. Oh my gosh. Mom's house. If a blackbird is an airplane, clicks is a kilometer, so an airplane flying, and going to port means going towards the airport. Uh, and if I solve that, ooh, I feel so fancy. Oh yeah. <laughs> but oh, I could yeah. be totally wrong. <laughs> oh, that's true. We're getting closer, and yeah. another clue comes out in just two days. Yeah. So as long as nobody finds it based on the existing clue, I think that if that we're gives ready us to a rock. Chance. Well, we have a lot to think about. We're going to start researching some more stuff tonight and then um, make a plan for tomorrow. But I'm committed to finding it. And I think we have just as much chance as anybody else at finding it. Maybe even more so because we've got a lot of experience solving it's clues true, and really riddles do. and puzzles. And I think we do pretty good work. Yeah, we can reverse engineer it pretty good too. I almost want to go through each clue and come up with three different things that it could be. And then look up places <clears throat> see if anything matches all, all of them yeah yeah it could be really smart too all right we're gonna do that but also today when we were out that was super suspenseful just kept hearing things yeah and seeing things I seriously and nobody was on the trail no one I we saw no one the whole time except for at the very base of the mountain when we first went on the trail there were some campers but once we got on that trail zero people were on it um, there were a few times though that I was like, okay, I hear zero birds. There are no birds, no sounds, except for all of my children being so loud. And I was like, I hope we scare away whatever's up here because <clears throat> there were a couple times where I was like, there's something here. There's like an animal, a big animal or something, you know? So anyways, hopefully we'll be safe tomorrow too. And we'll just keep looking for the treasure. Okay, today's the day! We're gonna go treasure hunting. We are ready. We got all the food that we're gonna need. We have grandma here, and they're here to watch Ellie, Corbin, Charlie, and Max. And we are bringing James with us, and we're gonna pick up Ryan and Shinaway, and we are gonna go treasure hunting, and it's so exciting! The other thing that is really exciting is that we, Brian and Michael have both been studying a lot about like where we think that it might lead us to and what clues or whatever. They've both been doing their research and we all feel pretty confident in what, where we feel like we're going today, which is much different than the other day. The other day it was like, Dang it, I pretty much know we're not in the right spot, but we're just here anyway, you know? It's like, well, we might as well go for a hike and see, you know? But it was kind of like, this just doesn't feel right, you know? Like, this isn't, this isn't the right spot. Anyways, today, it's feeling a lot more like this could be it. Like, this could be the real place that it's at. And it's so exciting because we've got James with us and we're gonna have Ryan and Shinaway with us and it's just gonna be a party and we brought food and I just overall feel a lot more prepared. Have you guys ever seen Ryan and Shinaway's apartment? And Jared. Jared lives there too. But I think you guys need to come and see. Oh! <laughs> All right. Hi, guys! Oh, I'm you're matching! I'm so ready to show you, you what I found out. 
So, it, we've already read this, I'm sure. Begin yeah. your search where hikers rest, majestic slopes, all facing west. Yep. Through the tunnel of Emerald Green, follow the river, creek, creek or uh, spring. When the blackbird clicks, turn to port. If you reach the end, you've come up short. So, uh, you've already read all through this. Now, this is what I want to talk about. This is a big part right here. Okay, that's okay. Right. And he's stepping so, down his pants. <laughs> so you have this clue. He's got a hurt back. Oh, yeah. you have this clue, right? Yeah. You have this. It's within this area, right? Yeah. Yep. The treasure and everything. And now I, I wanted to point out also these. This treasure. Do you see the leaves and the rocks and the colors like that? Yeah. Now watch this. If you look up here, it says. When the black bird clicks, black yeah. bird is uh, black birds don't click. But in aeronautical terms, there's a black bird is a type of of airplane. Yeah. Well, it's a type of stealth plane. And in aviation, they use the term clicks to represent distance or kilometer. It's just one kilometer, roughly a mile. Now look at this. If we go right here, there's only one black bird in Utah. It's at Hill Aerospace Museum. Okay. So, right there, that's one kilometer. When the blackbird clicks, turn to port. Turn left, you're coming from the north, right? Turn to port, and now let's read that thing again, because it's important, right? Uh, if you've reached the end, you've come up short. So, if you're following, if you're following this right here, if you follow it to the end, you've come up short. In other words, you've missed gone it, too far. gone too far. But there's only one place in this whole road that turns north. Now, but and this is why it's important. It says, uh, if you reach the end, you've come up short. Begin to climb where your path swings north. So, if we go to here and follow this, right? You follow that. There's only one area where it starts heading north, and it's Taggart's Grill. Which is also a place where hikers rest. Exactly, at a place to eat. Okay. Now look at this. If we look up Taggart's Grill, let's see outside. Outside of Taggart's Grill, it's the exact same type of rocks and the exact same type of trees that they filmed in when they were saying, hey, let's film this. And look at this. Right before you get to it, there is a tunnel. And look at this. So guess where it is within this boundary? Where? That would be right there. Okay. Well, then I think we have a good shot. So it says, begin to climb where your path swings north. Picking your way back and forth, soon you're fine, you're not alone. Greet the bear made out of stone. And I, that could be a bear statue over there, or that could be an actual just face that looks like a bear. Yeah. Or it could be a hiking trail. There's a hiking trail in that exact area called the Bear Trail. It's yeah. just spelled B-A-I-R instead of B-E-A-R. That's the crazy part because I feel like there's enough things that are adding up to make it seem like this could be it. And this is also cool. Look at this. Uh, it says, soon you'll find you're not alone. Greet the bear made out of stone. A stone bear hiking trail. Yeah. Word. Along the bottom of the cliffs is key. And there's tons of cliffs right where I was showing you that. The chest awaits beneath the tree. Also, with treasure ha in hand, enjoy the view, sun-kissed reds and salty blues. This right here overlooks the Great Salt Lake. In no other situation would salty be considered blue except for a lake. Great Salt Lake. Salt the Great lake. Salt Lake. Yep. In addition to that, uh, if, we, if we look back at this, it says... Uh, majestic slopes all facing west, and those are all westward facing. Okay. So a lot of the slopes Woo! in the Wasatch Front are kind of facing southwest or northwest. They're not facing perfectly west, except for those slopes are. Yeah. So yes. I think they're. Uh, I think. We're so does there. that make a lot of sense? Yes, I think that we have a chance, a legitimate, real chance of finding it, and I think we need to get going. Begin your search where hikers rest. But it doesn't say begin to climb until the path swings north. Then it says begin to climb. Yes. So up until that point, it could just be getting to the the mm -hmm. place where the hikers rest. Right. And the next few lines are leading us to where the hikers rest. Yes. Where we then begin to climb yes. heading north. Which I think is Taggart's Grill. Okay. Because that's where people would, would rest. 
if they were going on a hike. Yes. Those 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 restaurants that are like tucked away in the canyon mm -hmm. are usually full of hikers. Oh yes. So resting. I think that's the perfect Afterward or yeah. beginning. If we get the treasure, we should go to Taggart's Grill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. And I think celebratory uh, I, I, hikers rest. I was totally looking for bear clues. Until yeah. I everyone I, is. Yeah. That's the thing. I think everybody's like, oh, okay, how can I narrow this down the most? And I think everybody's focusing so much on the bear stuff that I was reading their comments and they were saying, yeah, we have no idea what the blackbird thing means, but bear, you know, everybody's talking about bear, bear, bear. And I'm like, well, blackbird, that seems like, to me, it does not seem like it would mean actual blackbird. But the thing is, blackbird, this, this is why it's so unique to me, because blackbird, there's only one in Utah. It's a very rare stealth airplane that's not used anymore. Yeah. And it's at uh, the Hill Mu Air Force Museum. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that might be fun to go to that too while we're up there. Yeah. But to I was wondering if we what should, we're talking about. I was wondering if we should go hiking first. Because Definitely. if because if yeah. somebody else has the same idea, yep. they'll they'll not go to they'll go they'll, straight they're to They're not there. gonna go to the museum to find yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Good idea. Okay, so I did not get a notification of the email, but they're sending out an email the day early to everybody that shares their posts on Instagram and tags them, which I did. Yeah. And I've been eagerly awaiting this email all day and I never got the notification. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to look in my email folders and see if maybe it went to spam or something. Yeah. And I found it. So it came And it came an hour clue. ago. One hour ago. Oh, it's the next clue. You're going to like I this, Ryan. Okay. It brings us in the right direction. Clue number one. The chest is not hidden at a ski resort. Uh-huh. Right. Ryan, oh, Ryan messaged me yesterday that. and he's like, it's here at the ski resort. He was so excited. Clue oh. number two. The chest is not buried six feet under. We have received a lot of questions from people about how deep they need to dig. If you have found the right spot, you should be able to use your hands to scrape away the dirt. Oh, good. Yeah. But we would recommend bringing maybe a garden trowel I or foldable shovel. Oh, no, you brought a shovel? I knew it. I knew James it. Called I knew it. it. I knew it. Becca's <laughs> like, we need a shovel. And James is like, Shinaway's got a really cool shovel. We're not looking for an exposed treasure chest yeah, above yeah. ground. Yeah. That's good to know. Where the path has swung north. If you look at the hey, fish thing, it's showing north. Hey, the is on the left. Hey, look at there's a. You see a hiker? Are there people searching? Back and forth. This is where the path swings Switchbacks? north. So I think it's going to be somewhere in this area, up this canyon here. Oh, well, what if we went in and said, "Hey, hikers, where'd you hike?" Like that. Or there's like maybe ask about bear. I like the way you think. Hello, we're here to eat food and ask, have you seen a bear statue? Those are lately? the same rocks that they had in the videos. The video. dun, dun, dun. Blackbird. It's the color of the bird. It's black. It's a black bird. <laughs> the rain! The rain is literally coming in a wave! <laughs> that was so weird! I've never seen that before! <laughs> We were looking up at the mountainside, we're like, and all of a sudden, we were like, well, I had an inspiration. What if a blackbird clicking is a bat using echolocation? Because so when they fly, they make clicking sounds. This rain is so bad, though. So, uh, we were looking up at the cliff right off the trail here, and we were like, I bet there's bats in that cliff. And all of a sudden, I see this rain falling in front of between us and the cliff yeah, face. Yeah. And I'm like. The rain, the rain like, is coming! It was legit like Get we in the were car. standing. It's like in the movies. Uh, it was like in the movies where you're standing there and it's perfectly dry and then it's kind of like you see like a wave, a wall of rain coming towards you. That's exactly what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> right oh man, it's coming down. We're going on a trip <laughs> in a favorite rocket. Oh, Ryan got out his poncho and he looks like an alien. So prepared. What yeah. a good man. Hi. You're so prepared. Thank you. Ugh. Ryan, I had a bit of inspiration. I want to know what you think. Okay. 
Okay, you ready for this? Yes. This might be, this might blow your mind a little bit. But I also might turn this off into a completely Bats. different direction. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Did <I say> yes! <laughs> Your thunder. Thunder. That's my thunder. I figured that. So up on the mountain there's a cave. I saw that. Yeah. And I was like, what if there's bats in the cave? And bats are flying. Black bird. They're not birds, but they fly and they're black. black and they click to use echolocation so that they yes. can. Yes. Okay, this is so exciting. Let's go over there's switchbacks go going all the way up to that thing, and to me it looks like a head and legs and a bear. How? In the world, am I supposed to film it? Let's go treasure. Hunt. I'll come. Let's if we come, if we find a treasure, we'll come bring it back. Okay, yeah, come tell me. <laughs> oh, Michael, his back hurts so bad, and he's just still walking. <laughs> he's looking at that mountain like, how am I supposed to climb that mountain when I can barely walk? <laughs> oh. Did you find it yet? Didn't do, 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 didn't do. So it's switching back going up here. There has been footprints on this recently. Very slick. Uh, it is very slick, but I think it, to me, it looks like a base or a bear made out of stone up here. Um, we're keeping on going, we're just taking it slow, I think. Really? Wow. Michael's still contemplating life in his little old lady bandana on his head and half trash bag that's also covering the camera. I think his back hurts enough that looking at climbing that mountain in the rain and having so much back pain, I just don't think that he's super excited about. I can see him right there is Ryan's poncho. So and are in the cave right now. They're in the cave? Looking around the deer trees near the base. Okay. Okay. So I decided to come up anyway. <laughs> but I have the camera half tucked underneath a garbage bag so that it doesn't get all wet from the rain. I'm not being a very good filmer right now. There's definitely some switchbacks, but I don't know. I'm wondering if we're in the right place. I gotta keep going. We made it into the cave. <sighs> The only thing about this is that I think it's more dangerous or like steep than than they would have hidden it in and this is not the right view. I'm not seeing salty blue, you know what I mean? So I think it's just a great salt lake. So I think we're not facing the right direction while we're up here. We should probably go back down. What do you think? Oh, there's so many areas it could be, but. So there's so many areas it could be, but at the same time. I don't know. See, I think that it wouldn't be this dangerous. I don't think so. And it's not the right view. Salty blue? Yeah, it's right. I think we should head back. You win some and mostly you lose some. <laughs> Sometimes you win some. Well, I would call this hike somewhat treacherous. We did not die, but it was, <laughs> we slid a whole, whole bunch down the mountain. Speaking of, <laughs> Your knee all right? Yeah, it's all right. I'm just glad I have somewhere to clean up. Well, you guys are all muddy and wet and dirty. What an adventure!
Do you feel? That would be very fun. <laughs> Ryan, do you have my Ryan's coffee? really dirty too. It's right yeah. Here. How do you feel, Ryan? Wet. But I had a better thing done than most of them. Do you feel defeated after going? A little there? bit. Yeah. I mean, what's so interesting about treasure hunting like this is your mind makes up. That's what they meant. That's what they meant. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I was up there looking down over the road, and as I saw a little bit of a creek, and I was like, sun-kissed reds, and I looked at all the work cones, <laughs> and I was like, that's a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> Salty I think that's blues. more than this. Salty blues. <laughs> Salt on the roadways during the winter time. <laughs> Dang it. You know what I mean? Uh, I think we need to start it back at the drawing board. Yeah, I think you're right. This is frustrating. So. Yeah. It's frustrating to not win $10,000. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. Yeah. But we're going to go back to the beginning and see if we can reinterpret the clue another way and find another way to keep looking, I guess. We'll mm. find it eventually, or somebody else will. Yeah. It's gonna be us. Hopefully we will! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Have fun treasure hunting. Okay. Michael, his back hurts him a lot today from doing all this treasure hunting. And so he is going to stay home with the kids. We had a babysitter yesterday, but we don't have one today. And Ryan has been thinking about the treasure um, clues and everything for like all night. He's been planning and thinking about what he's going to do, where to look. And he found a place and he said there's tons. He's there right now. He's here. Hey. I changed my shirt real quick. It's hot. Oh, I was like, wow, he's wearing that for <laughs> sunscreen protection. Okay, we're looking at this information board to see if there's anything that might uh, line up. And actually, we found that Rocky Mount, Rocky Mouth Canyon, that is where last year's treasure was hidden. So we are right here. Is this where we are, Ryan? Found here somewhere. We are technically, there's a sign over there that I'll show you. Oh, okay. But we're technically around here. Okay. That's so I came up here earlier to be able to test out and just see <clears throat> why I thought it could be here. And most of all, it was because of this Bear Canyon. They talk about a bear made out of stone. But this is the thing there's no place you can go that's like actual trails for doing things. Uh, but look at this they have an aqueduct trail. That's for water, right? Yeah. Transporting water. And then we're right here. And you go up to the Aqueduct Trail. Right here. And this is where it gets really interesting. Yeah. Because there's a lot of switchbacks in these different things. Yeah. Yep. And they even That have... one looks switchbacky. That's switchbacky. Look, they can even have Bear Canyon right here. And this goes right in Bear Canyon where there's some switchbacks too. Huh. Might even be a tree up there. Begin your search where hikers rest. Majestic slopes all facing west. That, that, that west. works. All of these mountains. Begin your search where hikers rest. Okay. All these mountains face west. Okay, perfect. Where hikers rest. And just through the tunnel of emerald green, follow the river, creek, or spring. Now, this is what's really interesting about this. I know that there's, we're here, but I know that there's multiple ways of traveling different ways to get here. Okay. Right? So I was reading this as I was walking up the trail. Sure. And uh, if we start walking up the trail, these clues will start to make sense. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Through the tunnel of Ember Green, follow the river creek or spring. So I was thinking, this is really close to this, and I was looking at the Aqueduct Trail. And the Aqueduct Trail is, in essence, a river creek or stream. Yeah. But, I mean, that might be a stretch, but who knows? Who knows? Because this year they made it a little bit harder, right? Yeah. Begin your search where the hikers rest. I see hikers resting. <sighs> One of the funny things about all of the Instagram, so it's on the John and the dot Klein dot fam on Instagram. They're the ones who hit it. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you guys want to try and find it and compete with us, you can. Yeah. Um we haven't found it yet. No. But funny because somebody was saying 
Tons of people are looking for the treasure in the hills behind my house. Oh, which way do we go? Which so way do you think? This is actually where I did it differently than a lot of other people. Let me explain. Okay. Begin your search for Hiker's Rest Majestic Slope Slope facing west. Through the Tunnel of Emerald Green, follow the River Creek or Spring. When I was thinking Tunnel of Emerald Green, I was thinking just hiking. Okay. Uh, and then follow the River Creek or Spring. So I saw this, and I noticed that that has a River Creek or Spring. Like, okay. that, that was a River Creek or Spring. This okay. is called the Aqueduct Trail. And also, I was right here, and I was like, when the blackbird clicks, there's a <coughs> And I was wondering which way is port and I'll be left. I, I, okay. But look at this. Well, I was thinking from here, that's left. And that goes up. Does that make sense? I'm following your lead on this one because I'm confused. You're always better at treasure hunting than me. <laughs> we are here. And it says when the blackbird clicks, turn to port. So you could either turn this way or this way. See? Okay. And I was thinking left. Does that make sense? Okay. I don't know. And then it says right after that, if you reach the end, you come up short. So if you go all the way, you'll be short, or it's, okay. it's like not good. Begin to climb where your path swings north. Now I was on here. Oh, this is north, and it could be this, right? Yeah. Begin to climb when your path swings north. We are right here. That is north, and we just climbed up this way, so it's swinging north if we went that way. Yeah, it was something like that. If somebody's coming on this side of the trail and the blackbird clicks, it would turn to port. That would be this way. Well, what made you pick this spot that we that we came to? Follow the river creek or stream, and that had uh, is a river creek. It was a river creek bed. Okay. Well, then let's go with that. Okay. So I, I went on this trail. Okay. Um, because of the... Switchbacks. Well, it's also said, uh, follow the river creek or spring. Okay. Yep, and we're doing that. Yeah. So what did I say? Okay. What I was thinking by that is I believe there's a split up here. Okay. Of the trail. And the, the things look like blackbirds to me. After COVID, my sense of smell is pretty much gone. Like, and it comes back in little tiny bits, like spurts of smell. I was telling Ryan I'm a little bit sad because oh, I have, I can't smell like the, out, the great outdoors. I can't really smell the woods and I love the smell of the woods. And I also love the smell of rain. And today it rained and I couldn't smell it at all. It made me sad. Hopefully my smell comes back soon, because I love smelling. But, you know, at least I have my eyesight. I remember standing here, and I remember reading, be, uh, begin to climb when your path swings north. Oh, interesting. See how this swings? Yep. Right here? Oh, I got it. I, this is what, how I interpreted it. It says, begin the search where hikers rest, majestic slope south facing west. We started down there. Through the tunnel of Emerald Green, follow the river, creek, or spring. So, in other words, you were following... I followed the aqueduct trail, and aqueduct also, trail. Mm -hmm. there's trees. And then it says, Emerald when the blackbird green. clicks, turn to port. And see this right here? They're facing different directions on a sign down there. Okay. And then I turned to port, which was actually left, and that headed up the the river creek bed thing. Okay. Yep, and then if it says, if you reach the end, you come up short. Okay. So while we were following this, and we got, I got to this point, and I was like, if we reach the end, we've come up short. But it's swinging north, and... Yeah, and, and so I was like, begin your climb where your path swings north. So I saw that this path yeah. swings north right here, and I started climbing up here. Okay, let's do it. And then it says, picking your way back and forth. Is there a lot of switchbacks up there? Yes. Okay. What is it? There's something in the bush. That was terrifying. Huh. See? This is interesting. Because this looks like somebody else's Instagram stories that I saw. Really? And they started pulling out a shovel and digging out. 
which means we get to see everybody else is tagging them in their stories and then we get to watch their stories and see what other people are doing so it's interesting because some of this looks familiar like oh yeah there's a guy digging in that spot you know yeah <laughs> soon you'll find you're not alone greet the bear made out of stone see this this trail goes to that stone face and that is on the edge of bear canyon yeah uh-huh and it's a cliff now this is really interesting along the bottom of the cliffs is key the chest awaits beneath the tree with treasure in hand enjoy the views the sun-kissed reds and salty blues when you get over there you can see something as good as this do you see those roofs right there yep they're red it could also be sunset right but sun-kissed reds yeah and there's the salt lake great salt lake yep great salt lake is salty right blue. up there okay. i thought that was interesting Look down. Okay, yeah, tell me is. if this freaks you guys out or not. Oh, this is scary. This is on top of it. Michael would be freaking out right now. That's off Wadak Trail. Okay. And then it goes curves, 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 switchbacks. And yeah. those switchbacks are definitely very noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that and, could be it. And so I was wondering if you come at it from the other side, coming this way. Yeah you would turn to port and there it has that sign that has the click the blackbird click that's what it looks like to me okay you turn and do follow the switchbacks and if you uh and it says you'll meet up with the bear and that's bear suspension bridge and it even has a plaque but it, it says that made out of stone yeah bear canyon it's all stone okay and so i've seen tons of people uh searching around there yeah but it also mentions something about begin to climb when your path turns north or something. Did you look around the, end of the bottom of this cliff really, really well? I did. Okay. I did, and I didn't see anything. I was also thinking that it could be down there. Down here. It's down there, right near at the base of where it starts to do all those turns. Well, we're headed back down. We think that we got a good view. So the only thing is that that I don't feel like, I feel like it's too public. This area is a little too public, you know? Yeah. Or like, I don't think they would hide it in a place that everyone could see, you know? So this is Bear Canyon Loop. Yeah. It goes up into that area and then comes yeah. back down. Interesting. Huh. See, like people are walking up there right now. Oh. This is... Oh. That's a river creeper tree, and that's enclosed. Yeah. With the, uh, emerald tunnel. Okay, we're not holding the sides. Isn't that pretty? This is definitely a tunnel of emerald green. It's like dark down here because it's all yeah. in the shade. Yeah. And look, there's an actual tunnel. Ooh. Like when it says follow the tunnel of emerald green. Yeah, that's creepy. Isn't that just oh, yeah. beautiful? This is what we need in a backyard. Yeah, and the little That pond. sound of trickling is wonderful. Spider. And it's so much cooler down here too. That is the bridge that we were just on. Yeah. And down there. in that trees, that's where I was just looking at with all those emerald green tunnel yeah okay time to go home it has been quite the adventure today Woo! it's been a good day we got a lot explored today yeah we don't have treasure but i'm sure our treasure hunt days are not behind us oh no hey everybody welcome to the beach house we have been in search of a ten thousand dollar treasure me and Ryan went hiking, it was exhausting. They've just released another clue. So the crazy thing is, the people who put it on put one clue in one state and another clue in another. And they said that those two people that find the clue have to put them together 
because it's a message and a key to decode it. They had the option to keep the, the clue to themselves and have a step ahead of ever, be a step ahead of everyone else, or to take like five hundred dollars and split it between the two, and then post it on social media. So that's what they chose to do. Thankfully for us, so that we can take that clue and see if we can decipher it. But we have called in all the troops. So we've got Andrew, Michael, my mom, James, Ryan. And we might have a and couple other people. Oh, and Max. And Max. And he was even waving. That's so cute. <laughs> we have everybody together. We might have some more people come in to take a look at it and see if we can figure it out. But we're going to have a little brainstorming session and see if we can figure this thing out. Here's the two pieces. So one of them is this coded message. It's just a series of random seemingly letters. F-K-M-U-H-R-J-C-Q-E-I-T-H-K. That was written on one piece of paper that was hidden in one state. And then Matthew 621 is the key. That was written on another piece of paper. So individually, they're not worth anything, but together they form some kind of a code and cipher that we have to be able to decode. What is the scripture? It says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I think that Here. whole thing is to throw you off. This verse? I don't. I think I think the verse is to throw you off because it has so much to do with treasure and stuff. I think it's Matthew 6, 21 that, we ha that has to do with that. Why do you think that? That's what treasure hunter people do. Okay, so guys, if you have to listen to my theories. <laughs> I have some really good okay, theories. Okay, what's your theories, Mom? Okay, so the very first clue is begin your search where hikers rest. Majestic slopes all facing west. Through the tunnel of emerald green, Follow the river, creek, or spring. When the blackbird clicks, turn to port. If you reach the end, you've come up short. Begin to climb when your path swings north, picking your way back and forth. Soon you'll find you're not alone. Greet the bear made out of stone. Along the bottom of the cliffs is key. The chest awaits beneath the tree. With treasure in hand, enjoy the, the views, the sun-kissed reds and salty blues. So that was yeah. the original clue that she just read. That's what they put out on Instagram. Their Instagrams are on the John and the Klein fam. And you so, guys can look it up too. Yeah, you guys could find this treasure just as well as we can. Or if you want to help us solve it, then you can send us what you think the clues are. That's right. That's the real answer. Yeah, that's <laughs> and because it talks about when the blackbird clicks, I just was like, I'm going to look and see if there's a blackbird trail anywhere. And there is. And guess what? All of the slopes of it face west. Okay. okay. But is it on the Wasatch Front so you can see yes, the... Yes, it's, oh. it's just a Provo Canyon. Okay. And Provo Canyon, though, you might not be able to see it's, the Great Salt Lake. You can. You can? Yeah, they actually have pictures of people okay. looking out over it. Um, just keep in mind that the guys who buried this treasure did it in sandals. So, so it can't be yeah. too much of a... No, this is a mountain biking slope. Okay. okay. And you go on here, and they have two blackbird trails right here. Blackbird one and blackbird two oh, right that here. Looks like a maze. Okay, and these are all these are all trails. Well what's interesting is this goes from Provo Canyon right here. This is Mount Timpanogos Mount Timpanogos Park. And then you go over like the mountain and Timpanogos is right there. Okay, now you have to understand this is what I was interested in. When it says for where your treasure is there will your heart be also Timpanogos Cave is famous because of the two, the two um, Native Americans that died supposedly, that is the legend of Timpanogos, and their hearts came together, and they're in that cave, and it's a giant stalactite Interesting. of a heart in that cave. What do you think, Michael? Uh, I, I just want to solve this <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is what's interesting. I was trying to look up different ciphers, and guess what? The exact amount of numbers Go, it says Timpanogos Cave, and this is exactly the same amount of letters. The, the only problem is it says it's buried beneath a tree at the bottom yeah, of the cliff. Yeah, so it might be on a trail to Timpanogos Cave. Yes. That's true. That's yeah. an error. If you reach the end and come up short, there is a river that yeah. goes all the way up that canyon as well. And, and you are hiking under all these trees that's like, uh, what did uh, they say, a tunnel of emerald green? They sure yeah. got everybody with all the, it's by a tree and a rock and a river. Yeah. It's anyway. like, oh really? So that's, that's a lot. Here. You just described all of Utah. It was just a thought. I was like, yeah. and I, I have not been at that 
that area, Timpanos, Timpanogos Cave for years. Yeah. So I don't know if there's cliffs along the way. I don't know, okay. you know, if you can go okay. up the path. But these back, this back area. Yeah. So that's the area I'm interested in because yeah. they did show views. Here's a view right here that shows what it's like up there. And yeah. you can see the lake out there and everything. Is that Utah Lake? I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure if it's Utah Lake or, or the Great Salt Okay, Lake. Michael, I think unknowingly they gave a clue because he had said he went out to lunch to spy on yes. them to see, which oh, means right. that it is lower down. He, he wouldn't be up in a mountain hiking, hiking to be able to keep an eye on it, which means that they put it in a spot where they could look at it closely from or, a distance. Or that's the start of the trail, yeah. But, I mean, he said 30, 30 different people were close to it. This was last night. The treasure was not found today. However, I spent my lunch incognito for around an hour watching the area, and the area was packed. I counted over 30 people coming and going. So if those of you su suggesting it's all too vague, you're getting beat. I have a hard time thinking it won't be found this week with that many people on the right path. Okay. So you're right. I heard that on the eating lunch thing, or like my lunch break or whatever, and I thought, oh, he's eating at a restaurant. But even he still... He was just incognito while on his lunch break, watching. Right. Yes. So he's not necessarily... But I, I have a hard time believing that he would be on the hike with them. Yeah. And nobody would notice him. Did he say that he was standing there with a big sharp rock in his hand? He said he wasn't going out to lunch. He was just on his lunch break. Yeah, what are the most recent clues? I want to hear. Did it have cash in it? Or was it yes, enough? cash. So if you actually look at the text of the actual thing itself, this is fascinating. These are the actual clues. Do you notice anything interesting about that paper? Uh, it used to be a paper airplane. If you zoom in on this, They've whited out and blacked out parts of it. Oh. See that? But if you follow it down, it says it's cipher clue 11S. <gasps> okay. What? It has something on it. It's a cipher. Now. Cipher clue 11S, go to ciphers. Ciphers. So Just now, search cipher. Mom, on your cipher. internet, on your, yeah. Look up cipher clue 11S. Just see what pops up. Ciphers. So if we go like this up and zoom in, I'm trying to zoom in. A lot of ciphers have specific amounts that you need to put in number wise. Six, for instance, could represent amount of lines. Mm -hmm. Twenty one could represent alphabetical shift. There's a cipher out there that uses music notes, uh -huh. so you, and you have to go to actually uh, uh, actual oh. rendition of the music okay. or a um, sheet music. Now, uh, in you, both this clue, he is listening to Film Sil Symphony Orchestra for Telly Chase. Okay. And then if we go back to the other clue, Film Symphony Orchestra for Telly okay. Chase. Uh, you know what that is? <laughs> that is the music to the Goonies. Okay. So, <laughs> That might not have anything to do with it. But I but... still think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It says, nerd skills coming in handy, figured it out. Hashtag treasure hunt. <gasps> and it said, Matthew 621 is the key for where your treasure is. There will your heart be also, right? Right. Uh -huh. And they put numbers on each of the letters of the alphabet. 621. F. U. <laughs> You guys, if you want to help out with this, write these down. F K M U H R J. What is that? C C Q E. So sorry. J then Q E. No, J, J, J then C Q E I T H K. That's Wait. so. This was the clue found oh. in lava hot springs by an epic treasure hunter who does not want you bombarding her with questions about how to solve this. So, <laughs> so there's that one, and then okay. they said that this is what it goes with. Matthew six twenty one is the key. Okay. Now, if you guys could actually help us out with this and see, if you, can, awesome. see if you can put it into different ciphers and different things. To see if you can get it to If work. you can beat it before we can, then you are an awesome treasure hunter. Yes, and, and share, share with us. 
share it with us and you know what if you can beat it and send it to us we will sh give you a shout out and show you in the video how about that yes what do you think about that michael let's see if anybody can solve it we what if we figure it out and then they send it to us figured out we should if still we, give it, you guys yeah, a shout yeah. out yeah. especially if, but if, only the first person so there's this like program that will that has the alphabet programmed into it and then you put in your fra encrypted phrase and it'll spit out a whole bunch of pop options, like possibilities. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I don't really know how to use it though. That's what I'm trying to figure but out. it said something down below. What it says when you mean? use this, this programming, it'll spit out a table which has all the optional translations of your coded message. But on one on the bottom actually makes sense. The one on the bottom says Draenor Pigpen, but I don't think that that's based on our clue. I think that was what was programmed into this system before. Does it have all of these on it? Here, yeah, right see? Here. X marks the spot. It has the cipher here. The solution, Draenor oh. Pigpen, location, Draenor Village, north of the market. It's just oh, kind of yeah. samples. A, yeah, this is the same sample over here that I'm looking at. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, so, mm -hmm. dang, I thought we actually had something. Mm -hmm. had one letter off which can jumble up an entire message and I went through 20 different ciphers. Whoa. So this whole time you have the clue written out wrong that you were basing it off of? Yes. Whoa. And I kept on filling it in with autofill and so there was always a letter off. Oh no. So you need to do all those 20 again. I know. <gasps> that makes me go. No. I can't believe I did that. That means you probably could have, you probably would have figured it out. It's such a rookie mistake to make. It's like you're a noob. <laughs> Here, Ryan, do you want to read? We are out of practice. We haven't been treasure hunting for a long time. Double, quadruple, check them for you. F K M U H R J C Q E I C H K. Okay, how will that be affected if it's not a U but a V? Because Take a look, it looks like it could be either a U or a V. Depending on the cipher, it can totally mess it up. Ooh, so I you almost start have to with change you. it. You almost have to do it both ways. Start with the U and then try again with V if that doesn't work. Possibly. But the problem is I had it was J here and somehow I had a a different I think I had a U there as well. Oh, or something. So you had it off to begin with. Yes. Okay. Like one of the letters was totally off. Okay. So that makes me ting! Oh! <laughs> all right, mom is done. She has been... I've been cooking all day, too. Yeah, so. no, you're justified. <laughs> See, oh. we're running low on time. Oh, it's um, no. <laughs> we, we need help. Uh, yeah, we do. We do. We need your help. Yeah, we do. We Show us how it's done. Help <sighs> us out if you want to see us win the treasure. Find it, even. I want to see us win the treasure. We've been I, I want to see us. A couple win hours. The it was light outside when we started, and now it's pitch black. Out yep. There. We need help. We need your help. So, send it to us on Instagram if you want to help us out, or if you want to be part of this and see us find the treasure. Anything can help. So, also, if you're the first one to send it to us, solved. We will definitely give you a shout out in the next video. That would be really cool. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow, or whenever we see you. We're gonna be going out hunting tomorrow for sure because they are dropping another clue tomorrow. It's okay. Thursday. So, uh, we have we to We need all out. the help we can get at this point. And if we can't get any more direction, hopefully the next clue tomorrow, and hopefully we can get this solved. Um, but otherwise, I think we should have the trail that I was thinking originally, that we yeah. go to, yeah. by Kaysville. Yes. Maybe just try that one out. I think we should. Bear track. The bear trail, but it's spelled differently. I wondered if we just overcomplicate a lot of the times, even with the ciphers. Sure. Yeah. It could be very simple. Like me. Or it could be something that seemingly doesn't make sense when it's solved out, but in the right context, it would Today's video is, I guess, just trying to solve the clue. And tomorrow we're going to get a new clue and it's going to be really exciting and we'll share it with you as soon as we know it. Okay? 
Talk to you later. Pause the game. Bye. Guys, live for adventure. We met them at CVX Live. They are awesome. So they actually sent us a super helpful tip and hint. And actually it had been, I guess somebody else had figured it out. And she was searching the hashtags, being super smart. I don't know why I didn't think of this. But <laughs> <laughs> she was searching all the hashtags of the Klein Maxim, Maxim or Maxin? Maxim. Maxim treasure. And on there, somebody had figured it out. And so she was able to find it and send it to us. So she gets a gold star, Thanks live all. for adventure. Everybody go subscribe to them right now. Yes. They're super awesome. So she said that the cipher code that we were trying to solve yesterday, the answer is, as the crow flies. Yeah. That's the decoded message is as the crow flies. So we think that means when the blackbird clicks, yeah. It, it, the translation, the interpretation is as the crow flies, which would make sense, but we never thought of it that way. Yeah. So it actually is very helpful it to know that. It is super helpful. Because that actually bashes both of my theories of where we were going. So we're getting ready to go look right now. Yeah. There was two places I wanted to go, and both of them were based off of the black crow or the blackbird yep. part of the clue, which now is totally void. Wrong. <laughs> so I'm really glad that she helped us right in the nick of time so we don't go to the wrong trail today. <laughs> If you are searching for the treasure and this treasure specifically and you decide to use their hashtag so they can kind of share the story of what our of us looking for it, which is what we've done, then they will give you a clue one day earlier than everybody else that's looking for it. So we got the clue just barely. They just barely sent out the newest one and it's really exciting. Okay, it says hint number one. From the time we parked the car to the time we arrived, where the chest is hidden was approximately one hour. An hour hike? Yeah. From the time you parked the car to you get to where the chest is hidden, it's an hour. No need to trek 10 miles into the back country, so, unless you think John can hike that fast. <laughs> so. There's two that, hits. That's a huge that clue. That's a huge clue. Okay, keep going. Hint number two. None of the words in the poem are the same as trail names or prominent locations. Good to, that's a huge clue! We didn't want to make it that easy for you. <gasps> read that oh again. Oh my goodness. Read that, wait, read that again. None of the words in the poem are the same as trail names or prominent locations. Okay. We didn't want to make it that easy for you. That doesn't mean it's that- It's a, a change of spelling. It could be a change of spelling, or it could be like blackbird and crow. Well, that would that would work. You know what because I mean? Because it's not the same name. It's not the same but name. Anyway, but anyway, okay, it means the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One other thing. Let's see. It says bonus hint. Is that the same thing? That's not the same thing. Is that the same letters from no, yesterday? No, that's not the same letters from yesterday. <gasps> Keep going. Read it. Is that all it says? That's all it says. So maybe using the same cipher we have to decode Except this? Except it has a picture of a tree. Is that the tree I think that that's, it? Well, it's, it says bonus hint, and they have a picture of them with a tree. But look at the letters, too. It's another coded message. It is. That means that we have to figure out the cipher. Well, this now that so we know big. now that we know what the decoded message is, we can kind of reverse engineer that to yes. figure out how to solve the cipher. We've got to get to work. Yeah, we, we need, figure this we need out. to call your mom and Ryan because they have to hear this. Oh, they've got to hear They're it. They're going to love hearing it. They're going to go, flip out. we got to go talk to them right now. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ryan, you are going to freak out. The new clue is out. Yeah? Yeah. Is it a good one? Yes. Is it? Does it make you go, oh, wrong spot? Yes. Yes. Good. We were way off. Way off. We were way off. But, but it's also, the clues that they dropped in there are very good clues. And, I can't and Live for Adventure sent us the answer to that. Song. Really? Yeah. What was it? As the crow flies. As the crow flies. Wait. Really? Yes. How, how did they figure it out? They looked it up online, someone had already solved it and posted it online. Yep. That's great! Good job! Uh -huh. Yeah! We met Live for Adventure at CVX Live. They That's right! They have little kids, and they do family oh. vlogs, I think, so. I remember that! Yep. You guys did awesome! Now we gotta reevaluate everything in our life. His face. They don't know we're not 
allowed to use magic at home. I'm going to have a lot of fun with Dudley this summer. This is, yes. After we got rained out of the last one. That was rough. Here's the thing, though. I know for a fact that the trail where the tre treasure is hidden is a somewhat popular spot for people that are looking to solve the clue. Okay. So if we go here and there's nobody else here, like at all, that tells me that it's probably not the right spot to look. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. Which is going to be a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, maybe there will be a ton of people. And then it'll be like, hey, we're in the right spot, let's look. Okay, yeah. well, I think that once we get to wherever it is that you think it is, I think we should pull out the clue and read it and make sure that it makes sense on all, on all accounts. Whoa! So somebody's... It's, tar it's telling me to go. Oh, uh -huh. there's quite a few cars here. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. Okay, here we are. Oh, that's weird. What? They spell it differently here. Well, B A E R here, but online it's B A I R. Interesting. Begin your search for Hiker's Rest. That's where we were. Okay. The, the parking lot. All Majestic right. slopes all facing west. Maybe yep. we need to find a bathroom. Through the tunnel of Emerald Green. Here's the tunnel. Let's go through the tunnel. This is pretty cool. It really is like a little tunnel. Oh. Tunnel of Emerald Green. You know you're getting old when your body clicks with every step. Oh, look. Let's start the poop counter. Ready? Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. What? Seven. Eight. Oh my goodness. The trail that we're on. There's a little fork here. One of them goes up the canyon. Okay. Which is what, the way I think we should go because that also follows the River Creeker Spring. Okay. So we went through the path of Emerald Green. Yeah. Follow the River Creeker Spring, which is where we're at right now. Okay. And we're turning left because that's where the river is. Okay. All right, so they said that they hiked for an hour. From where they parked the car till the time that they hit, buried the treasure was one hour. So. I'm navigating with an app called All Trails. I've been doing some trail runs and uh, really enjoying the app and keeps track of your time, GPS location, all the good things. Anyway, um, so we're gonna keep track of our time and probably about the time we get to 45, 50 minutes, we'll start looking around from there, seeing if we're getting close. Okay, we got another fork, but I'm gonna pick that way because it follows the river. Creek or spring. I can kind of hear a little bit the river trail trickling over there. And I know for a fact that this path that we're on crosses the trail a couple of times. I think there's a bridge up ahead, stuff like that. So following the river, then there's the clue when the blackbird clicks turn to port which the clue that we got yesterday, everybody on line, line says that it translates to as the crow flies. So if that's the case and maybe, a lot of people are saying maybe you go like a kilometer as the crow flies, perhaps from the start of the trail. Yeah, see look, now they got the different spelling on this sign. Bear Canyon. Different spelling? Yeah, but oh. if you're going uphill and you're hiking and it's slow going, you can see the Salt Lake I know, that's what I was about right say. there. <clears throat> that might make sense that you only go one kilometer as the crow flies in a matter of an hour. That's what I was thinking. So, yeah, Becky, you're on the same page with me. So, I think that all things considered, so far this trail has a good chance um, for a lot of other reasons too. We found out today that that bonus clue was translated to mean, I think it's search where, where sailors rest. Um, so 
There's like a bay right over here on Google Maps. It's very close to the, to the mouth of this canyon. Um, right off the Salt Lake, there's a bay. And so I'm like, maybe that's where sailors rest. I don't really know how it fits in yet, but right now, this is my best prospect and I'm really excited to be hiking this trail. I've been wanting to come here for a week now. And so here we are. Let's see if we can find anything. Seriously, it's, whew, I'm winded. But it's not like super steep, you know? It's not like dangerous at all. It's just challenging, difficult uphill hiking. But I, want, I wanted to say this though, that uh, while John was wearing sandals when he hid the treasure, he did say that he cut his toe and they recommended that we wear hiking shoes. So it could be possible that it was on one of these rocks that he cut his toe because it's pretty rocky. What do you see, James? People up on the hillside over there. Are there people up there? Yeah. Right in the center of the screen right now, there's some people standing up on a rock. Yeah. As of right now, we are, let's see, we are 15 minutes in right now. So we've got a little ways to go, but 15 minutes so far. Ooh, this looks like a tunnel of emerald green if I ever did see one. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, be careful. This is a steep cliff here. Stay close to the trail here, don't don't fall down there. Of all the places we've been so far, this looks the most promising. Part. I know, right? I actually really love I it. I know, right? That's why we're here. Let's keep going. Those rocks look like the picture from today. I know. These cliffs over here. Wow, and it's this, so that matches too. Yeah. I feel pretty good about this. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay. Let's keep going. We've gone 0.6 miles, 20 minutes. Well, I don't know what the, pa the difference in pace would be. If someone's going half as, fa half as fast as we are, we might go in an hour. What they did what well, would take them two hours. So we're. You know what I keep liking? <clears throat> what? We keep running into things that, look, that could possibly be like bears of stone. Maybe. Like that's that's a pretty. Yeah, do you want to put this in your pocket too. just in case if one of us gets lost or something? James brought walkie talkies. Give it to mom. She's the most likely to get lost around here. Help me. <laughs> But, Even better. I'm like getting kind of jittery because I'm like, this is hitting all the, like ticking all the boxes. There's some serious cliffs right there. But we're only 20 minutes, like a little over 20 minutes in. They yeah, said it took, us, took them an hour. If there's a clue that tells us to go a different way, then we need to do it. Yeah. Like I doubt it's on the trail. No, yeah, right? it's not going to be on the trail most likely. Yeah, it's going to be off the beaten path some ways. Well, this is interesting. So the clue says when the blackbird clicks, turn to port. So a click is one kilometer. And if the clue is as the crow flies, a kilometer is like 0.6 or 0.7 of a mile. I think 0.65 of a mile or something is a kilometer. Okay. Well, look at how far we've gone, 0.7. And here's a thing that would suggest turn to port. Like there's a left, turn here. Whoa. Like right in the middle of the trail. Well done, let's do it. Okay. If that was yeah. turning to port, follow the river curve saying when the blackbird clicks turn to port, so when you go on a kilometer kilometer as the crow flies, turn to port. If you reach the end, you've come up short. Begin to climb when your path swings north, picking your way back and forth. This is now north in this direction. So begin to climb when the path swings north. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going on the trail here. And when the path swings north, that's when we begin to climb. I have a theory that when it says begin to climb when your path swings north, suggests that when this path that we're on swings north, that's when we begin to climb. Okay. Which means that we're technically gonna stay going straight up the mountainside. 
Okay. Something along those lines. We know for a fact that the trail that we're going to be going on is not so difficult that someone in sandals couldn't do it. Yeah. We need to keep that in mind. Yeah. So this is the trail that we're on right now. You can see it on my phone. So technically the path is going north right now. It's actually been going north for a while. Okay. So I'm not sure if we climb this direction or if we're supposed to be climbing this mountain right here. There's a few different Which options here. Which one would here. give us the right view? So, but we're at 27 minutes now. Okay. At some point we're going to need to start climbing, picking our way back and forth. There's going to be climbing. A zigzag trail A zigzag somewhere. trail probably. That's going to be difficult, but could be done in sandals. So it's not okay. going to be dangerous. All right. We're 40 minutes in. Okay. The path kept going that way, but this, there's also a little subway, sub path that goes north off the trail. And this could be the bear. Like a bear could also be like a, a difficult thing. Oh, interesting. But this could be done in sandals. I would explain why you got a cut on this toe. Yeah. Picking up this in sandals. Ooh. It's possible. It's not dangerous. This place is, it's very sharp, all the rocks and stuff. So be careful. Well, we decided not to go up that huge cliff of granite boulders because we decided it was probably too dangerous. And petrified wood. James says it looks like petrified wood, but ultimately uh, we decided that that's too dangerous. Not that we couldn't do it, but because they specifically said it, don't go to dangerous places. You don't need to go anywhere dangerous. And I just imagine someone with kids or someone who's not athletic could not have done that. So we're at a three-way cross now here. Um, Follow the river. Th I know that this, this little stream goes all the way up and creates a, another rift in the canyon right there. But we got a trail that goes straight, a trail that goes south, so this is east, and then this one goes north and up. So and I think we should go... I think we should climb as the path swings north, picking our way back and forth. Probably Let's go that way. Probably creek or stream. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a good hike up. Is this a bear made out of stone? Maybe this is the bottom of the cliff? But Down there or up there? Well, let's look at that picture. Let's look at the rocks in the picture that they sent. That they buried it at? Yeah. Oh, James just said you guys are going to want to see this. Well, it's the view. Oh, cool. <gasps> what? Oh yeah, this is what he was talking about, Micah. Yeah, look at that view. Oh yeah. Salty blues. I think it's down there that we should look. I want to see the view. Okay. Oh, this would be, this, everything we've seen so far would fit perfectly yeah. with the clues. Yeah. I think we are okay. in the right spot. Okay, so legit tree. It's a big old like oak tree or something around a rock. A bunch of rocks. That might be... I feel like this is too many bushes. Like it's so... Too much foliage on this. But that doesn't mean that that is the tree. It could be misdirection. Okay, but first I really want to go down here because well, I saw. Okay. <laughs> okay, Michael, make his way down there. Does it look anything like it? Could be. Okay. We're definitely in the woods, but. Look Almost looks like a petrified log. Oh, there's a bumblebee almost landing right on me. All right, guys, I just found this really creepy cave. This is definitely a place where animals would. Sometimes when I go out in the woods, I get a creepy feeling like something happened in this area. So here's this cave. It's more like an overhang, but the thing about it is that there's this one right here, right? 
and I tried to kind of look further in. Let me turn on my flashlight really quick. I can't tell what that mound is. It doesn't necessarily look like all the other rocks, but... So there's this other one right here, and also not very big, but below it, I just found clothing that looks shredded and more clothing that looks like it's been shredded. The crazy part is that looks like it was like bites or something. Like maybe somebody got attacked by something and that freaks me out. Either it was, it's nothing and somebody just dropped some of their clothes here and left them or something happened here and that's really creepy. I'm kind of waiting for Michael and James to come back down because I'm a, a whiner baby. Just kidding. I just need to take a break. And so they went up to look at stuff and I just didn't want to. Um, but it was funny because um, we were asking somebody, is there cliffs up there? And they were like, um, are you looking for the treasure? And I was like, yeah, we are. They were like, yeah, there's cliffs up there, all right, but pretty sure we found a, we saw a big old hole dug underneath a tree that was empty. And I was like, oh. Anyways, I'm still coming up here. <laughs> it is a beautiful view, though. And this lighting, oh, it's so good. Hey, guys, this is the right spot. But then I think we need to head back down because it is getting dark. Hey, Becca, I gotta say something. What? It was the second day. Okay. How parts of the clue might be jumbled or mismatched or, or moved around. Yeah. It could be poetic to have the first line of clue um, be one of the last things that you do, too. So, in all reality, you could start at the park where we, where we parked our car. Mm -hmm. That's where hikers rest could be yeah. considered, but it also says begin your search where hikers rest. Well, this would be a good spot to be considered where hikers rest. There's a little fire pit yeah. here. There's yeah, a nice little this. bench. Here's a little fire pit. Here's the view. Honestly, Becca, this is beautiful. you have no idea like how badly I did not want to stop looking up there. Well, I was just thinking about that. In fact, all I can think about is how much everything in the clue points to this canyon and how much I just don't want to stop looking up in this canyon. Yeah. There's just so many good possibilities that fit perfectly and I will be so disappointed if someone says I found it and it was a bear canyon. Oh yeah. Um, I kind of want to look at the bottom of the cliffs evaluation. right here. I have got last to look time. At those people because and then I'm done. Okay, let's there, go down there. There's cliffs here too. So let's go look underneath some of these trees yeah. and then let's but go. Come back tomorrow. It's too dark. It took us an hour to get up here. We gotta get out of here before it's too late. Let's go. I promise you can come back tomorrow. And you know what? You should come with Ryan because he's gonna want to look in all the places that you will. Maybe even more. I don't want to go. I don't either. Okay. All right, Rebecca says we're done. So I'm coming up back up here tomorrow. Could I come too? <laughs> yes. You, James, and Ryan. And uh, maybe Shinoi. Oh, I love everything about this canyon and this trail. And the thing is, there's so much about it that I, that's not like so generic. Like I legitimately believe these could be answers to the clues that we're looking for. I just have a feeling like it's here, so we'll be back. We will be back. Yep, we gotta hike down. And this time, we'll find it. I the poop rocks. How about that view, babe? Oh my goodness, okay. This is where we take a moment. This is where you take a moment to enjoy that view, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> so good. We worked hard for that view. Yeah, we did. No other thing that we could have done besides climb the mountain when we did and come up here. I just wish we had treasure in hand to enjoy the view. I do. Oh, this is the real treasure. That's right. Yeah. I've got my treasure right here. Oh, we do, don't we? We're going treasure hunting! Tre treasure hunting! Us. Treasure hunting! Tre Tre treasure hunting! Treasure hunting! Tre Tre treasure hunting! Tre treasure hunting! We're going! So we're going on our trip in our favorite rocket ship and we're eating melon and no it's rotten and, and, and I did it. So I, uh, the story is that I started eating watermelon and it tasted fine to me. You Can't like taste it. anything but it tasted fine to me. So then I gave some to Ryan and he's like Bleh. <laughs> and I poisoned him. Oh my stomach. <laughs> He liked I it, did. and all I tasted was mold. And 
then I spit up in my own hand and threw it out the window. Ew. This time we are going to the store, having a bathroom break, and getting prepared with snacks. That's wonderful. Okay, let's go and get the things we need and go. Okay, we've got hummus, we've got white cheddar popcorn, we've got granola bars, and we've got granola bars, and we've got propel, and we've got propel. Okay, we are prepared. Let's go treasure it. back on the trail. We just went through the tunnel of Emerald Green. We're still headed up the mountain. Michael's reviewing the treasure. Ooh, the clue. We are hiking. We are rearing to go. Michael did not want to leave yesterday. He's like, no, please, I want to keep looking. And I was like, no, we got to go before it gets too dark. Yeah, okay. Here's the view from last night. Yeah. Such a good view. Anyways, we're headed up. And I think that we're gonna have a little bit more time than we had yesterday, which is so good. Did you hear that? Overlook. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. I think you're gonna like this, Ryan. Yeah, this is definitely in the Yeah. They didn't tell me there were mosquitoes up here. Oh, dang it, that's what I forgot. Mosquito repellent. I got a lot of mosquito bites last night. Mosquitoes suck. That's wow. right. <laughs> All right, Michael has a hidden talent. It's a superpower, really. It's really a superpower. It's kind of a extra special gift that I have that helps me to find treasures. So my back's been hurting all week and I've decided that because this trail is the only trail I've hiked on where my back doesn't hurt, but it hurts everywhere else but this trail, I think my back is like a special treasure radar. Radar, yep. So when I get close to the treasure, my back stops hurting. As I get further away from the treasure, it starts hurting. So, how does it feel right now? Feeling pretty great. He's the professional hot cold man. <laughs> hey, this is the one kilometer of the crow fly, so this is where we turn to port. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you just spanked your bike. You just spanked your own bike. <laughs> That'll cool you down. See the map? 0.6 miles. That's a kilometer. <laughs> Oh, that's such a beautiful creek. He said back and forth, right? Did he talk about switchbacks? Yeah. Um, it just says picking your way back and forth. Uh, right after it says begin to climb. So, I want to show you guys where we got to last night. And if you still think that this is more, uh, is a better interpretation, then we can come back. This okay. is north. You begin to climb when you're past things north. We've got north. This is north, so I mean, you need to go. Begin to climb when you're past things north. Begin to climb when you're past things north. And so we literally just barely did the turn to port. This is north. Right. I think that... And we're going to switch back, yes? Eventually, really? I think eventually, not... I don't think this is... The Could spot. I go that direction? You can if you want to split off. You have... We won't okay. meet up with you again. Well, here we will, right here. I'll, I just want to look a little bit. Oh, just well, right now? Yeah. Okay. You, ha you should have service on your phone, so if you need to call us, then just call us and we'll be able to meet up. <laughs> we lost Ryan. He got too eager, too excited, too soon, I'm afraid. Because I don't think it's over there. I think we need to keep going. So we're not going to wait any longer. And he could be up there all night. So I think we should keep going. And okay. when he's ready to catch up, he'll probably run and catch up pretty quick. Okay, sounds good. So we have decided, we've decided that we are gonna keep going down. Um, we're gonna go back down and continue going up the path because we think we didn't quite go far enough. Um, they said that it was one hour from the time that they parked their car to the time that they got up to where the treasure is buried. <laughs> uh, so anyways, we're gonna go head back down and see. 
So this place actually looks kind of promising. We were here yesterday, but we didn't really get the chance to look around too much. So we're gonna come back down here and look around a little bit more. And then I called Ryan to find out where he was and what he was doing. And he said that he was on a path somewhere safe, but just looking around. So I was like, come be with us. And he's like, no, I'm gonna look for treasure. Okay, we've been digging for a while now. There's a bunch of cool trees down here at the bottom of these cliffs. And uh, we've been looking underneath most of them, just trying to see if we can find a buried treasure. You've been digging under some trees over there too, huh? Yeah, I've just been using my trust piece. I mean, it could yeah. be right here. The thing is, it could literally be under this tree. Place to bury it, really. But it's under the tree. I know, but I mean, I mean, in this texture of stuff. I mean, it's just like sticks and leaves and stuff. Yeah. It would be really easy to bury it. Yeah. What if somebody found it and moved it and didn't tell anybody? <laughs> like, they could literally hide it somewhere else. I don't know. I feel like they have a trail cam on it somewhere. Do you think there's a trail cam on it? I do. I bet they have that so they can kind of tell where, what's happening. Yeah. I mean, I would. Yeah. That would be so smart to be able to see what they're, what's actually happening right next to it, you yeah. know? Look for a trail cam and then you'll know you're in the right spot. <laughs> That's strange. What? Just a loose branch? Yeah. So I have been digging underneath a bunch of these because this is actually like the perfect place. If I was hiding a treasure, I would probably hide it in something like this because there's like all of these nooks and crannies. So like trees are coming out of rocks and then there's like these spots that are just kind of like the rocks are have some like empty spot underneath them but then it's completely covered in leaves so like I've been just using a stick and pulling off all the leaves from around and I feel like if I was hiding something I would probably hide it around here in this type of environment like like there's that dark hole right there okay there wasn't anything there just an empty little cavern thing. Hopefully somebody else didn't get the treasure. Okay, so you know when you're like doing a puzzle box or you're like trying to figure out a problem and you know that like the teacher has the answer but it's like a trick question and you're like, ah, like you, and then you work really, really hard to like answer it or figure out what it means or whatever. And then like eventually if you just work so hard and you still, don't know where it is or what's going on or what the answer is. Like, you know when it gets to that point and you're like, okay, I don't even want it. I just want to know where it's at. Like, I just would like to have the answer because it's bothering me now. That's where I'm at right now. I'm like, nah, just tell me where it's at. Even if I don't get it, like, <laughs> I just want to know because it's so annoying not to know. Um, guys, anybody? Anybody? Oh, there's Michael. Everybody's just disappearing until it's only me left. We are on a different path now. So, it's in a very similar place to where we hiked the first time, except on the other side of this little creek. So, we found a bug and that was great, but now we're still hunting for the treasure. Ouch. And it is like really rocky and steep, and that's the path that I'm going up right now. We're trying to, ooh, that's where I'm going. Also, this looks interesting. Um, also, we're in search of Ryan because he has been scouring the whole mountainside, going nuts, treasure hunting to his heart's content. But we are headed up on this side. Hopefully we'll meet up with him. How cool is it? We got another path spot. Yep, I think this is where the path goes, but look at how cool this thing is! 
and somebody left their bird in the water. What if this is the tree? And it's underneath that. What if that is the chest and it's just grown a bunch of scum on it? Interesting. This is the weirdest thing is these like pink roots. Not what I was expecting, but they're totally pink. All right, starting to get dark again. So we are headed down. I've got Jordan and Adam and James and me. So Ryan and Michael have decided, Michael's decided to show Ryan that path up there that Ryan never got to go on. And we're just gonna meander slowly down the mountain because we're beat, tired. Okay guys, I found Ryan. Oof. He was gone most of this hike today, but I was running down the hill like in spirited away how they go down the hill the hill, the hill is just like ah! That's what I did and I'm got dirty too. <laughs> it's getting really dark. We're heading down the canyon We've had enough searching today, but I lost Rebecca and James and Adam and Jordan are gone and so we're just hiking back, hoping that maybe we bump into them. Especially because it's getting darker. Yeah, exactly. It is getting very dark. The camera has a way of brightening things, but like in real life, but it's... But we are not so bright. <laughs> maybe you speak for yourself. <laughs> we are just heading down the trail and I hope we bump into them. They're not back where we were. Um, I haven't seen them for probably... 15 or 20 minutes, but and I was totally climbing where there was a bear Ryan oh. thinks he found an actual bear in some trees, right? Actually, it was a really interesting story I, I was walking in an area totally far off from where I think I was supposed to be But uh, I heard some noise that was sounded loud and I looked up and it stopped and there was a trees area uh -huh. and then I looked down again and I heard and I was like and I looked up and it stopped and whenever I do that I was like I know animals that are stalking prey do that. Uh, so, I, so I actually got a stick and I was like, <laughs> I'm glad also, you're safe. Also, I have to say this. But I think that with how many pounds people are losing doing these hiking trails, it equals up to 10,000. That's the real treasure. Yes, because well, that's where your heart seriously, is Seriously, I'd show you right now, but my pants are like sagging very low. Don't show them. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Sounds, Sounds like howling. Like, or fox and the hound. What if it's a wolf? <laughs> Are there wolves in these mountains? Yeah. You never know nowadays. Guys, it is dark. This is when the animals come out. We saw a snake. We did. If there were animals in these and I hills, saw like 20 squirrels. this is when That's they would nice. come out. I know I heard howling. This is kind of scary actually, you know. Okay. I hope Rebecca and the kids are okay. Oh! Okay, Ryan. Yes. We gotta get away from that wolf. Did you see that wolf? I totally thought that wolf. It yeah. wolfed at us. Okay, let's go. I can see Becca. We found you guys. Yeah. We found you. I was so worried we lost you guys. Oh my goodness. Did you guys see that wolf? It almost got us. I really like this canyon. I love how well it fits the clues. And I'm really sad we didn't find the treasure, but at the same time, I really want to find another trail that matches the clues just as well as this one, maybe better, and just find another spot to start looking, because I, uh, I'm feeling a little bit burned out from this location. Me too. Me too. Hey, wouldn't that be cool if they hid one clue in every spot so like next year, like they would hide one clue in each spot that they hid the treasure the last, the previous year. So you want to go back to where the treasure was found last year? No, I'm saying and like see that if there's would a be clue a cool there. idea for you next year the for thing. them. It could be. So take my idea. I mean, we could go back to where they hid last year's treasure and see if maybe there's a clue hidden there. You know what I would do? I don't know. What? Just saying. If I was me, and I am, <laughs> if I hid treasures, I would, I would do four different treasures, like one year, next year, next year, next year, and then I'd crisscross them all. <laughs> 
something just flew. It was like a bat or something, and it slapped against the oh. back of my neck. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Okay? Let's get out of this place. Ah, run! 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 That was hilarious. We did an instant replay of Ryan freaking out. <laughs> it was like it slapped the back of my neck like this much of the back of my neck, whatever it was. It was on camera though. It felt like it got in my ear too. Yeah. <laughs> Next year, next year, and then I'd crisscross them all. Something just flew. It was like a bat or something, and it slapped against the oh. back of my neck. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, here's the deal. The next day after we filmed this video, the treasure was found. Unfortunately, not by us but by somebody else. So, in the next video, we're gonna be exploring where they found it, exactly where it was buried, where we went wrong. Maybe next time we'll solve the clues a little bit better. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have loved going on this treasure hunt adventure with us. You win some and sometimes you don't. That's the reality of the situation. So, anyway, thanks you guys for tuning in. Don't miss next episode when we explore where the treasure was actually found. Hello everybody and welcome to the beach house. I am so excited today because somebody finally, finally found the treasure. And honestly, I was kind of getting to a point where I was like, somebody please, I'm tired of hiking. I need just to know where it's at. Like I'm so, so tired of not knowing what this means. And so we finally now know what all the clues mean, but we really, really, really want to experience it ourselves. So we have Michael in the car, we've got me, all the details of what every aspect of the clue actually means so that we can recreate it and go to the actual spot where the treasure was truly buried. I have a brilliant idea, but yeah. I'll, I'll tell you something at the end of this video, you'll find out if you watch the end. So anyways, we are on the Instagram of the person who hid, one of the people who hid the treasure, and it is blowing my mind because he's showing all, there was like a trail cam and he is showing all the people that were so, so close to the treasure. And it's like, it's hilarious and heartbreaking how many people were so close. So this one we just read and it's really funny. He said, thanks for the experience. We ate lunch in the cave sitting on the treasure because there was a rock over the top of it. I even thought, huh, why is this log in here? That would be a great place to bury the treasure. Haha, ha, I'm a fool, but that was really fun. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, I feel bad for me not finding the treasure, but I feel much worse for this guy not finding it. Because imagine if they sat there for an hour eating lunch, just in the shade, enjoying it, not even realizing they were literally sitting on $10,000 and they didn't even know it. <sighs> That's a painful, painful memory. So anyways, we're headed up there right now. We will show you once we start solving all of the clues, what they meant and how it will lead us to the end where the guy actually found the treasure. We're here. Now originally the clue said where hikers rest, but then there was that second clue that came out which was translated to say where sailors rest. And here we are at the front and it says Canyon, Canyon Cove. Cove. And the cove would be where sailors rest. So So that means we're solving it finally. <laughs> okay. What's so strange to me is how we have to walk through a neighborhood just to get to the trailhead. Like there's no parking at the trailhead. You literally have to walk. You can't even drive, there's a gate there. There's a pedestrian path, so we're not trespassing, but literally you have to walk through the neighborhood 
just to get to the trailhead is bizarre to me, but we're almost there. It's like straight uphill though. Everybody's like uh, dying already and we haven't even made it to like the actual canyon trail yet. <laughs> all right, there's the gravel we all love. There's the trees and the path. Now we're on the trail. There's the neighborhood. We just left the cul-de-sac. We're officially on the dirt trail now. So this is the Hughes Canyon. Uh, the name of the canyon itself, there's really nothing in the clue that would give that away. Um, I think there's other things specifically that you would look for. But Hughes Canyon is not implied anywhere in the clue. So, yeah, I, I probably would never have decided that this was the canyon to look up, to be perfectly honest. But here's the tunnel of Emerald Green. Officially, this is it. Do you know how many tunnels of Emerald Green? Oh, every canyon has a tunnel of Emerald Green, so that's not worth anything. But nevertheless, that's what they intended by the clue. Well, it feels better in here. Here's my plan. What? Wherever we follow the river, creek, or stream, we all get wet. Oh, that's a good idea. And then we keep going. That's a great idea. Because do you realize how hot it is right now? It's like 100 degrees. Let's go over the clue. Now that we're, we know we're in the right place. That the, oh! What? There's something I really want to do. All right, you just walked 10 minutes back to the car and 10 minutes back up the mountainside. And we are sitting around for no, doing nothing, so we're rocked and ready to load. I went back to the car. I knew we had a treasure chest in there. I thought it was filled with pennies and a t-shirt, a beach house t-shirt, but it wasn't. It was empty. So you grabbed all empty. the change from the car that you could find <laughs> and a couple random coupons. Actually, I, I have some coupons I could add to it. Oh, <laughs> to the park yeah. Cafe. Got three coupons. Are they expired? Kids. No, there's no expiration date. Okay, okay. Okay, so here's the deal. Because we don't have a really cool treasure, <laughs> I decided I would let you guys know. Okay, we are going to go up where it was hidden, and I think we're gonna hide it somewhere close to it, but maybe not in the exact spot, just because I think other people are gonna go find the exact spot to just reminisce about what they're missing out on. <laughs> But we're gonna find it. The exact spot. Do you? Yeah. But then somebody might find it that's not from the beach house, and then if they don't send us a picture of it, then we won't give them a <laughs> shout out. They'll look at it and be like, "That's the lamest what treasure the ever." Heck? This is not ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, and also you'll feel satisfied if you find the box, and then you'll be able to go out and get a couple little things. They might not be big, but hey, uh, let's finish this trail. Okay. And find this has been fun so far. I just went on two hikes. My legs are a little wobbly already. So we're gonna have a couple things in that treasure chest. I cannot guarantee that those granola bars are gonna last past today, past us being here. But it should be fun anyway. Find the treasure chest. Then I threw a couple little beach house pins in there, a couple coins, a $2 bill, if you've never had one of those. And it broke a pair of Bluetooth sunglasses that the Bluetooth still works on, but the hinge is a little broken, so you can repair it. This is the worst treasure we've ever put together. <laughs> Literally the worst. <laughs> like the dumbest treasure. But it's got at least, I'd say probably, $50 worth of stuff in it. I mean, it's worth something. So come up and get it, because you're going to go on a hike anyway. You might as well find some treasure at the end of it. Okay, begin your search where hikers rest is the first line of clue. Uh, majestic slopes all facing west, which are these mountains. Um, get in. Through the tunnel of Emerald Green, follow the river, creek, or spring. You can see the water. Get wet all the way. Sit in it. How is the water, babe? Good. I'm getting my hat all wet. There's bees! All right, let's go. We gotta finish this trail. We gotta get back on the trail here. How you doing, babe? Ooh. Check out these views. We have hiked over a mile now, 
But there's this sign right here. And when the Blackbird clicks, turn to port. If you reach the end, you come up short. So what they're saying is this original trail, the Hughes Canyon Trail, if you continue going on that, when you reach the end, you come up short. So it's a redundancy letting you know that this is where you need to turn to port or left. We're hiding a really dumb treasure for you. <laughs> I hope you guys know how much I love you to give you this dumb treasure that I'm carrying up this whole mountain in 100 degree weather. Right. And just so you know, we will give you a shout out if you find the treasure and tag us. You have to tag us on Instagram though. I hope it's not somebody else that finds the treasure because there were 2,000 people looking for this. Yeah. I mean, looking for that treasure that was found. Not this one. <laughs> they would be very disappointed, but I'm pretty sure nobody else is going to come looking. Yeah. I mean, maybe they would just for closure like we are right now, but that's probably the only reason. Yeah. So hopefully they don't find okay. it. Which means you have to get out like today as soon as you're watching this video to go find it. Okay, right. keep going, guys. I'm How about that view, huh? Now the next line is, begin to climb when your path swings north, picking your way back and forth. Wow, look at that view. That's a gorgeous view. Keep going. Begin to climb when the path swings north. So let's keep going around here. It's windy now, because we're all exposed up here. This is the shoreline trail. Oh, you're about to see the greatest view of Salt Lake. Oh yeah. I can see the whole valley. Cool. That's a good view. Yeah, you're looking so far. What do you think of that view? Beauty. Beauty? I feel like I'm in front of an air, air conditioner that's broken. It's just Blowing hot air. Hot air <laughs> super far over there. You can't even see it. It's or way it's like too far. in the corner here, babe. All right, we have some things to look for. Well, it says, begin to climb when your path swings north. And I'd say it's starting to swing north here. Yeah. And now you can see the whole valley. Not just that little area, but now the whole thing. I actually am pretty sure it's right here. Is this where the path is swinging north here? Is this where we climb? I think so. Yep, where look at we... all this trail. Look at all this path. This is it. Okay. There's this big huge boulder here, really, right as the path turns north. Picking your way back and forth. Or you just go straight up the mountainside. I definitely would have said nobody could do this in sandals. That would have been me. Oh man. Soon you'll see you're not alone. Greet the bear made out of stone. I don't know. I mean, literally, there's so many stones here. Not one of them looking more or less like a bear than the others. Like, look, <laughs> this could be a bear. Yep, it's a bear. It even looks like it's got teeth. Ooh. It feels good with the breeze. Yeah, it does. And my wet pants from sitting in the creek. <laughs> That's a smart choice. Yeah. All right, we're in the shade right now. We've got a row of cliffs right here. And beyond it, there's another row of cliffs. And we're actually going to the row of cliffs beyond this one. So we need to kind of go up and around either that way or this way. I'm not sure how, but maybe probably this way actually to get up and around this first row of cliffs to go to the second one. That's where the treasure is. Okay, I got the treasure chest. All right, we got the treasure chest. I think that's the bear made out of stone right there. It's kind of hard to see on camera. I think it's right over there and the treasure is or was hidden. So that's where we're gonna go. Guys, I think it's right here. I think we're here. Ah! We found it! Oh. <sighs> Guys, wow. Oh, the guy in the cowboy hat from John, John's posts on Instagram. He came in this exact cave and sat down on this exact rock that was over this exact hole and ate lunch. Well, let's bury this there. If we give somebody a shout out, then it was definitely one of you that came up to find it, or 
somebody that was just like, I want to go find that spot that the treasure was hidden. And then they'll get lucky and we'll never hear from them again <laughs> about it again. But either way, the treasure's hidden here. These are like super sharp rocks, but I'm patient. It's fine. Okay, it's hidden. Good enough. All right, guys, it's in a cave, a little nook, nook cranny cave, and this is where it's at. We've got the base of the cliffs. It's the second ridge of cliffs. Come in the morning or night. It's up from the golf course. It's on in Hughes hiking. I'm telling you everything about it so you don't have to go through the pain and trouble that I went through not finding it. And it is hidden right underneath that tree, underneath that orange rock. So if you want it, come and get it. It's more about bragging rights and a, puff and a shout out if you get it, okay? And now we need to get off of this hill as fast as possible because I think it's over 100 degrees right now. I'm like, my face does, I don't sweat very easily at all, but my face is like dripping. My glasses aren't wanting to stay on my face because of it. And we're almost out of water, so we really, really, really have to just go. We gotta go. Do you have any other water I can drink? Yes, water right here. Drink or pour it I on need you? need water to drink. I'm so like my And you're gonna so sit, you gotta sit in the creek when we get down there, okay? This is really hot. Yes, it is, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Here you go, hold that. Where's Ellie and Charlie, or Corbin, are they Guys. okay? What is it? What is it? <gasps> no way! Oh my god! 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 Oh my Oh wow! Dude, what if the guy who found the treasure had it in his bag and some of it came out along the way down? That must have happened because there's no way. Oh, we're so lucky! Are you kidding me? Count it. Do you think there's more? Your dad's no. that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It was just 100, 200, like kind of stuck underneath the sagebrush. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? Exactly. <gasps> we found a thousand dollars! Cash. Holy cow! How could that be? What if there's more? Well, do we think we need to like... What if somebody's missing it though? Do we think we need to turn it in? Well, think about it. The treasure was buried and he said whoever finds the treasure keeps it. So we found a piece of the treasure. I think we should get to keep it. Okay. There's what? another one. <gasps> the, 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 the wind couldn't what? get it. Somebody dropped it. This <gasps> This must have been the pathway he walked going down. What? <gasps> I see another one! <laughs> oh, it's in a spider web. That's so scary. He got stuck in the spider web. Get that one. Okay. Holy. Keep your eyes open. Are you finding money? Yeah, we found a bunch of money. Some money got loose and it's been blowing around on the hill. Okay. I cannot believe that. <laughs> oh my goodness. We still I was really sad when, we, when all the treasure was found and we yeah. were like, we looked so hard trying to yeah. find it and it was all gone. And I was like, dang it. <sighs> but I like, I'm so shocked. Holy cow, we found money. <laughs> well, think about it too. Like there were so many people in this mountainside right up until the treasure was found. Yep. As soon as the treasure was found, nobody Everybody came looking left. anymore. Which means it's totally reasonable that some of the money could have gotten lost and nobody found it because no one else has been up here since then. Oh my goodness. That is so exciting. Hey, okay. Right there, in that, in the spider web. Oh, wait, 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 let me see. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Hey, maybe you guys will find some, but we have to get him off the mountain. I'm like worried. I would rather get off the mountain than even right. keep, continue right. finding money. We gotta go. You, I don't wanna have to spend all this money on a doctor bill. Okay. We did it, like, we found the treasure. <laughs> we literally found, holy the cow. treasure. I can't even believe it. Wow. That is crazy to me. <laughs> you guys, I thought we came up with nothing. Wow, and we were able to hide a really lame treasure.
pressure for you guys. <laughs> Sorry. We got a fun adventure out of it. <laughs> we did, we did. We got a really good adventure. Okay, we gotta go. We did it! Woo! When we were kids, we sang it at the playground.